But where are we? I don't know, but we better not hang around. Be careful, Mother. As if me saying that will make any difference. Knowing Mortimer, I wouldn't be surprised if he rigged his crypt with traps. So you think the door is not enough? Do you want to wager your other hand? You've got a point there. We have to find that weapon. What do you know about the Holy Lance, Louis? The what? The Lance of Longinus the Centurion. Oh, that? That's what we come to find? The lance that a centurion stuck in the side of Christ at his crucifixion? That's it. Seriously? You don't really believe that fable, do you? Every fable is founded on true events. I'm not saying that everything adds up, but imagine if it really did exist. Very well. Now what? Well, now you know what you need to find. Pardon? I have to get to the wharf to prepare our departure. Let's get off this cursed island as quickly as we can. We shall come back when we are ready and armed. But hang on. Louis, let's first get to safety. We shall come back when we have the upper hand. Fear not. You take care of getting the lance. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. Hang on. I at least tell me everything you know about this lance. But I have never seen it. There's nothing else I can say, Louis. Well, you can always go snooping around Mortimer's study. I remember seeing paintings of Longinus there. Hang on a second. What's the matter? Why did you shoot Emily's sister? Do you really think now is the right time for this? I want to know, Mother. Why did you betray her? Listen, Louis. I don't think you've really understood my interest in the al -Azif. It's not just simple curiosity about some old relic. You tried to kill her. And I had no choice for crying out loud. It must not fall into the hands of the demons or we are all doomed, don't you see? Listen, I don't know exactly what it contains, but I prefer to be one step ahead. If they want it, there must be a reason. And even if I don't know what it is, I want to stop them for safety's sake, no matter what. Nothing will stop you if I understand correctly. Not Enough, even Louis. If you could see the extent of their power as I do, then you would understand what I'm saying. All right, we'll do it your way. One more thing. If they find you in possession of the lance, they won't let you get away with it. Choose only one and hide it under your jacket so you don't get caught with it. Then run and meet me on the wharf. And if I get caught? If they catch you in possession of the lance, we're all doomed. Do you understand? Perfectly. Good. And go talk to Piaggi. He's the one who probably knows the most about this. The sarcophagus is engraved with the name of Clemens III. Good God! The one whose cross allowed me to enter. Clemens III. Clément III in French. How come his tomb ended up here and not in the Vatican? That was the Pope from the Middle Ages who inspired the Third Crusade. He gave the Roman people the power to elect their magistrates. He was basically an anti-Pope. His path to the throne was pretty turbulent, and he had to be enthroned several times. The result of a long conflict between the papacy and the Holy Empire. This sarcophagus is beautifully made, but ancient. Stone is marked by the passage of time, but it's really well preserved.
this one has no name. I wonder who it was for. I can see that this spear has a, a so-called leaf shape. It is copper rimmed. I can see the tip is engraved with the symbol of the Eye of Ra. I can see that this lance has a so-called leaf shape. It is made entirely of iron. I can see that the tip is engraved with the symbol of the sun. I can see that this lance has the characteristic shape of a spear. It is made of iron, and its tip is engraved with a cross. There are several spearheads I need to find clues to pick the right one. Piaggi knows something about it for sure. Devil's Thorn, to be used to uncover the best disguised traits. Flavius Aetius. Hmm. It was cut a long time ago. You could tell by the rough hacks of the tool and the patina of the stone. This sarcophagus is very ancient. I'd say it's several centuries old. I remember. He was the Roman general who defeated Attila and his hordes in the terrible battle of the Catalonian plains. Flavius Aetius, the one they call the last of the Romans. He was assassinated by his own emperor, who was jealous of all his victories. But how did he end up here? Flavius Aetius. Flavius Aetius, the one they call the last of the Romans. He was assassinated by his own emperor, who was jealous of all his victories. But how did he end up here? This lance has got a blade in the shape of a spear. Its blade is in iron or steel, I think. I can make out a rising sun engraved on the tip. The sarcophagus has been ravaged by time. It's sort of ageless, I guess. It's entirely sculpted. These symbols, these grooves, Cuneiform script. This is humanity's oldest alphabet, the language of Babel. <laughs> Sadly, no one today even knows how to decipher it. <laughs> There's also some text engraved beneath in ancient Greek, Sargon. Is this the tomb of a king? <laughs> Judging by all the sculpted symbols of power, this is really ancient. The, 
inscriptions are all eroded. I don't know what those marks mean, but maybe a stone or an epitaph. Well, we can see that this lance has a particular spear shape. It is coated in gold. You can distinguish the symbol of the fish engraved on the tip, barely noticeable. We can see that this lance has a leaf shape, and, well, it's in gold. I can see that a crucifix is engraved on the tip, just barely visible. Let's take a look at this lance here. It has a very special leaf shape. It is copper rimmed and I can see a fish symbol engraved on the tip. I can see that this lance has the shape of a boar spear. The blade is partially coated in copper and I can just make out the symbol of the Eye of Ra engraved on the tip. I can see this lance has a spear shape. It is copper rimmed and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. lance has a leaf shape. It is copper rimmed. The symbol of the Christian fish is engraved on the tip. I can see that this lance has a so-called leaf shape. It is clearly made of iron and I can make out a sun engraved on the tip. The sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. It's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to bear the Mortimer family name. What ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. Let's see what we can find here. Uh, uh, oh, it's far too heavy. I'm not gonna be able to do it on my own. The sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. See what we can find here. Ha! Great! Now let's see what's inside. The sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. Let's see what we can find here. It's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to bear the Mortimer family name. What ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. 